Okay. We are live. I didn't think I was going to be here. But we are here. Oh, crazy. There's no sound. Is there supposed to be sound? Don't know if there's supposed to be sound. I'm not sure. Hello. I don't hear anything. Does anybody hear anything on the official stream themselves? I don't hear anything here. What's going on? This is Tarkov TV. Let's force the quality, make sure it's on high. Go and have a look at this. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think there probably would be sound, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Sup, 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 sup. Please wipe, please wipe. Yeah, exactly. That's the way. Uh, let me just get this all stuff. I, I wasn't expecting to be here. And we just, ma I basically just managed to do it. Um, <laughs> I was going to catch up on this later on, but then a, a, a hole opened up in the schedule. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> Yo. Let's hope for some exciting news. Thank you, Gnome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No audio on Twitch directly. Yeah, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Yo, cheers for this. Just came over from Jesse's stream because she just popped up. I thought, dang, I'm down. <laughs> hey, nice. That's good, dude. First time I've ever been on one of these streams from BSG before. Excellent. Well, basically, so last time, um, I think I... So I did one like a couple of times ago, but I don't think last time I was able to make it on. Um, because they're really awkward times, right? Like, basically, the wife is putting the kids to bed. It's like 5.37. It's like the worst possible time for me to come on here. So that's why it was end up just being like last minute negotiation or whatever. Being like, this is really important. Please let me stream to the people. Um, let me see. Here we go. Cool. What time does Talk of TV start? Well, technically now. It should be starting like right now should have started already i guess in theory so we don't know what this means they're just get set, getting set up they do always do this right they do like a countdown timer and then they never show up straight away <laughs> are those cult markings on the wall yeah they are and there's a cultist in the background when does it start yes yeah pretty much that Pretty much that. Oh. I'm trying to get chat up on my phone. Because I have a I have an, an awkward problem on my main uh on my actual like computer, on my desktop PC. There we go. There is no audio, they say, yeah, cool. Good. Um, yeah, so basically the way that my chat overlay works, this this guy here, this thing, this thing takes pop-out chats and it puts them up on the screen, <laughs> um, which is pretty funny. So if I take the BSG one, then it will also appear in this chat box. It's not really ideal. <laughs> oh, God, guys, the to breathe specifically in Morph Codes for White Tomorrow. I'm doing good, Danny. I'm doing good. See movement? Yes. Is that a ring wraith? It's a cultist. Log into the codes page now before everyone does when they hand out a code. Actually, you know what? That's a good point. You can normally put them in on the launcher, but um, I wonder if this is going to like mess up my thingy bob. You can normally do it afterwards anyway. You can usually do it in, like a little bit later, so it doesn't really matter. Are they always this dramatic? Um, not normally. They usually load up and it's like them messing about and stuff. It's not normally like cult style like this. It's usually not that crazy. Talk of TV whilst making dinner. 
and turn scaffold with sacrifice. This is the BSG Deep Law. This is the first time they've ever done this setup, you know. Usually it looks like uh I I don't even know if I have it to hand, to be honest, but um let's see, do I have it to hand? Uh I wonder if I have like an old one. Oh here we go. Here we go. Okay, well that made some sound, which is good. <laughs> Imagine if the was doing a whole last narration, we've got still on the audio. That'd be funny. Or they're supposed to have like some music or something. That would be funny. Maybe I didn't it must have been somewhere else. Maybe I put it here. I have a skull. I'm scrolling. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Normally it looks like labs, is is my point. Ooh. Usually it looks like labs. It sleeked was a wipe look link. What was that? Hold up, what was that? It's it's leaked was a wipe look. Eh? What does that mean? Pre-Vipe 13.5 season planned. Uh, okay. So, glad to see you streaming this. Thanks, Elisa's. Yeah, what is this thing? Okay. Season 13.5 starts in 20 minutes. Well, at least that's not... 14.0 with all of the content. Props are enabled on the broadcasting channel. Okay, well. <laughs> Make sure to close the chat, says Garlem. I love that. That's funny. <sighs> I realised I didn't actually put in... I didn't put a tweet out. Let me, let me make, make a tweet. Uh, do, do, do pictures, Tarkov, see this one, go, cool, oh, here we go, hey, I sit in snow, hello, hello. look at the link, it's for wipe, that's a confusing ass page, it is, I don't really know what it means, well, there's like an echo, Say that to two. I just get slapped by Nikita. No problem, Frank. Wipe started seventeen minutes. It says plan to start seventeen fifteen. Okay, uh, welcome. Yeah, I don't everybody. know what this is. We have, uh, this is wild. New setup, as you can see, it's uh, pretty neat. I think it's uh, like the best, the best uh, set that we have uh, that we had in our podcast, Dev, Dev podcast. So. Uh, once again, uh, hello everybody and welcome. Better? Uh, this is our Dev podcast. I don't know how. Yeah, I was already to, turning like, them up. Have to tell it uh, differently. It's not like a podcast. It's more like a live be session with uh, developers. And uh, usually we do this uh, several times a year. And uh, we talk about stuff, uh, especially He's got the... <laughs> for the upcoming patches, this here? the current situation uh, with the game. What we uh, uh, what uh, what <laughs> uh, what we will have uh, like the new stuff we have a lot of new stuff to show you for today and uh, let's begin let's start with something so uh, I even have like this special book as you can see this is a special book and I will open it. Wow, How's look at the go, cult book. That's way. crazy. Uh, Nikita has lost weight, yeah. Is it good? Is it okay? Are you all waiting for the wipe? For the new patch? What's the chat saying? So, uh, once again, for today we will have 
several uh, promo codes. These promo codes will be shown on the stream and you will be able to activate them in launcher only. So uh, it will contain different stuff, different stuff, uh, in-game stuff, and so you will oh, be able launch, to yeah. use it and play this okay. last uh, time, last period of time uh, before the wipe. And uh, <clears throat> actually, no. So yeah, log into your launches, guys. Ah. Okay. Uh, so first of all, first of all, let's talk about what we had I know what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, some time ago, the technical patch. So the technical patch actually was pretty big. It contained uh, a lot of new stuff related to networking as I hope that you checked it and saw the difference. Uh, so far, as I know, the difference is pretty big because we literally uh, we wrote a lot of stuff. Okay, cool. Networking and stuff. So we are getting ready for the big patch that uh, will be soon, and also the arena and stuff. So uh, it's all been uh, it's all was done for uh, better networking and stuff. And uh, no codes yet. Audio still a little low. Also, okay. a lot of sound changes. I saw, I saw that you you Better? typed a lot of comments just before we had this uh, intro stuff, like no sound, no sound. This is a, how can you say it? This is a perfect representation of uh, current uh, state of the game. No sound. Нельзя материться на Твиче, понимаете? So. Чем сказку можешь прочитать? Нет тут. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, first of all, I want to okay. say the small thing about Unity update. Я читаю. Okay. The, 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 the small, the small uh, thing about Unity update. Where you put the codes? We uh, had an issue with the Unity you, update. You put them here. Like something they didn't allow you us to here. update on the new Unity you version. You do activate. We just, there. we just had an issue with it, and we're gonna fix it. Actually, we will we already fixed it. So the Unity update will be, but a little bit later. So it's okay. like something cancelled or something. It's just like a technical Good. technical um, trouble. <clears throat> the transition of Unity 2021 hasn't been made yet due to engine's technical limitations, which we now managed to overcome together with the Unity team. Nothing more to add. Very good. Um, Дамир. Это Дамир, кстати, если что, кто его не узнал, он переквалифицировался. Его забрали сектанты, и теперь он работает на сектантов. Полы подметаю. Да. I'm just gonna make Поэтому... lesson, guys. Вот. И, uh, Unless something crazy asking, comes out. When is wipe? Well, will there will be, will be, be wipe? Of course it will be. It will be in August patch. So the patch will be in August. August, wipe! With the new stuff and everything. And uh, I will tell you a little bit later about it. Uh, there we go. Actually, we will show you the roadmap. The roadmap that we updated spe specifically for this patch. It will be posted uh, on the every social media. So let's let's review the roadmap. I see the small bit. Is there? Share on screen. Oh, a ah, new roadmap. Отлично. Opa. Come on, boys. Oh, ho! Oh. So, this is a new roadmap. It's updated. You can screen it, you can share it, but it's it's actually... You don't need to do it, because it will be posted right now. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it contains a lot of stuff. Actually, we added uh, some of the new features and everything. And uh, if I actually... Let's let up pre so all this stuff's coming here. We load up presets, randomize, loot, heal, helmets, trading UI, QL, target expansion, boss, weapon stand, new location, flexible mindset. No code yet, guys. Quest free battle. The loadout presets. It's 
easy to use. Yeah, this is huge. Almost one click use to quickly arrange your stuff, arrange your gear and weapons, and quickly buy uh, missing stuff on a flea market on, on a trader. So it's a good option to actually have your character uh, be ready like, really quick in a couple of clicks. Uh, randomized loot container spawns, it's already been like... Oh, will be added later. Oh, that's uh, down here. In the last podcast. Oh, I see. Selecting body part to heal with the hotkey. Summer update. Actually, we have a video for that. What video? Uh, Let that presets is really big, though. Music statue. Yeah, if wipers push back to August, who knows how far they push back the following wipe. Thing is, I wasn't expecting this stuff until Christmas. So if this is coming in August, that's sick. Toggling helmet lights. We we also have the video for that. And I don't see in list. I'm not surprised it's split into two though. Like vaulting and stuff comes in. Maybe quality of life is meaningful. Oh, this is slightly confusing. Let's show you. Let's. Sh well, I will show you the video. The first video. Yes. Yeah, summer update. Stuff, winter uh, update. In the game. Well, what about the different lenses? Oh yes, it's a helmet flashlight. As you can see, we finally managed to finalize the small feature. So we have uh, okay, a nice. switch on and use the helmet flashlights and devices. This animation. Well, that's cool. Oh yeah, because you can turn your head, obviously, with the hat, with the flashlight on. That's actually kind of neat. Small new feature that we like. Limb healing selection. As you can see, pretty understandable. You wow, look at that! You will be able to select specific body part to heal, to fix. Uh. What happened? MS, you can pick. Nice. Consumables double click, okay. Consumables double click usage. Also, pretty simple quality of life feature. You'll double click and you'll use it. Nice. Look on the road, PSU Twitch likes me. <laughs> That's even quite fast technical. Sebastian? Sebastian? Sell all feature for scab run. Sell so, for scab. after scab run, you'll have an option to sell everything to friend. Like small neat feature like just to be Maybe I'll put on it. Crafting status indicator. Also the small indicator that will allow you to see that you actually craft something. You will see the green the green yeah. green, okay. It's not just green rather than white. Does that already do that or not? I can't remember. And that's it for this video. Let's switch back to... The low uh, production quality on Toggle TV is so good though, it's my favorite. Plus two flashlights in addition to my gun. <laughs> yes, the, the music was way too loud compared to Nikita, yes I agree. Unfortunately. Ну естественно, кто-то музыку оставил громкая. Вот я вообще без музыки собирался делать. А где она вообще? А вот тут она, да? Can search вот громко, for crafts. I'm not sure. Видео. You can favor it. That's good enough. А, во время видоса. Yeah, so а, summer update, all these things. Winter update, all these things. Work in так progress is these things. Client performance optimization. It's funny. Will be added later, new location. Oh, what's next? What's next? It's weird. Like, what does this mean down here? Так, what's next? Ah, Serving on players cuff equipment, side arm quick swap. Oh, it's an also cool feature that I'm gonna show you. But before I will show you this feature in the video, let's uh, have a run with well. the promo code. So the first one is oh, promo code, guys. The first one is. Ah, нужно переключиться на опять главный full screen. Yeah, they've already spent all the time making the cultist set. I know Atlantean. Exactly that. Yeah, не стримит. I love Nikita's mouse with like no mouse pad. You can hear that he's just like straight on the table. <laughs> the pilots are presumably when they were released. Maybe. Yeah, dude, PKM is going to be nuts. Как промокод запустить? 
quickly. Right. На нем? Да. Нажимаю, ничего. I don't have the game up, so you guys are gonna have to tell me what it actually is. I'm not gonna open the game. What's that? Stuff in Greece going, goes into August, right? I think so, yes. I think that's the way it's working. Yeah. Yeah. А, это play, вот это play, да? Это не play ни хрена, это reload, блин, play. One click dress up, the first promo code. I can promise you that these promo codes are pretty meaty. You will have a good stuff in there. So you will activate it and you will show, show us, tell us what you got. Okay, I activated mine. Он только будет висеть вечно? А, все, я понял. Here we go. The next uh, thing One is, click I will show you the next the code all in caps? feature yeah. called Quip, Quick, Quip, 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 Короче, смотрите. Okay, this is side arm quick swap, I think. Oh, that's much better. That makes pistols so, actually useful. Uh, if you, uh, like, I, I, it's Look at that, that's like double the speed. That's so much better. So the, the, the pistol fast draw, it's like way faster and, than a reload. Uh, you will have like an option to quickly draw it and the gun will wobble a little just to, just because. Where'd you put the code in? <laughs> you put the code in... I don't think I can move this. You put the code in here. So if you go on your launcher, go into your drop down and do activate code. It's the second option. It's this one here. Encyclopedia. That's one. Just in the launcher. What was the code? The one next thing up. in the roadmap... All in caps. Yeah, so August versus December. This is like a four month wipe. This is really short. You're quite right, Sad. Updated trading UI. Weapons case, we night armor, uh, armor and kitted MDR. Updated trading UI. And again. Nice. That's apparently what you get with this first one. Mention anything about a wipe? Yeah, August wipe. Oh, look at this! I believe that we... This is the new UI. Show you this stuff, but maybe it's some damage. Do you sell and buy all on the same tab? We kind of saw some of this before. And then you just select between the different traders, so we don't have to like just go back, click back, click back, click back, and tasks are all on the same screen as well. Okay, this is good. New location has to be terminal, I agree. Nothing on Arena yet, no. What's the link for the TV? It's um, it's the official BSG cast on Twitch. August was hoping for Cena. Me too. I'm a I'm on holiday in August, <laughs> which is going to be really awkward. I'd rather know when. Can we make the start of the presentation. Any big announcements? This, the roadmap, the new roadmap. Wipe in August and a wipe in December is basically what they've said. And they're splitting patch 14 Still between the two. of expansion, second iteration. Uh, it's also under, like... As I said it many times, the Streets of Tarkov is not finished. Have it's early August? I hope it's late August, personally. several times. And, uh, okay, so he's saying, yeah. So that was the new quality of explore. life that we saw. Oh, no, sorry, that was updated <laughs> trading UI. More areas to explore and... Which is awesome. Uh, of course, the optimization, it's not only about the expansion of the streets of Tarkov, it's also about the optimization of it, because it's the heaviest map that we have in Escape from Tarkov, so, yeah. New equipment and armor, okay. Uh, the new weapons, PKM, SVT, AVT, AK-12, saved, saved off double barrel shotgun, new updated PM pistol, and different a new PM. modification parts. I love it. And when do we get into 2021? It says soon. It's in progress. The new guns. They said they fixed some problem with it, and it's actually working now. Is this what you expected? I did expect them to put some content into this near patch. I didn't see it all coming in December. Or either, either it all coming in December or being split. This makes sense to do it this so, way. 
Uh, I will show you a little bit later the new weapons because I have like several videos. That's a horrible noise they've got going in the background. Guns. But how will they do a wipe so close together? You're just going to be like level 30 and then it's going to wipe. That's basically what's going to happen. As you know, the wipe is near. As you, as you can see on the, as you, can, as you saw on the new uh, roadmap, the wipe will be in August. August and wipe the is the coolest part so far, too. that we know. And uh, when exactly it will be in August, I can't tell you, because literally it's always unpredictable. So, uh, but we have a re really special thing for this wipe. Uh, uh, right now, just uh, like after I will say about this, we will have the rating system activated. So we activating the old rating system and uh, if you will attend in it and have like first place in it in different categories, you will have an option, you will have a pretty good bonus in the next vibe or any vibe you will have an option to increase your stash by two rows permanently. So if you will participate and win any category of the rating system before the wipe will happen, you will have an option to activate this additional that's crazy. two rows in your Surely stash. Be like three no people. matter uh, the version of the game, it will stay with you forever. It will stay with your profile forever. You will be able to activate it in any wipe. So this is uh, the pretty neat feature. So, uh, that's gonna be like four people. I won't worry about it, guys. As you can uh, hear it, please activate the rating system, post uh, the novest, post the novest, please. It looks like these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These look like the rate, the things you can get, these are the things you can do to get rating. XP, KD, survival, average profit, kills, raids, longest shot, playtime, inventory value, trade rating. There's only one code so far. Okay, what's next? What's next? Uh... Only one code so far. Let's show you new guns. Everybody's going to get that. Lots of people are be pushing for it though this time. I think he got his got have his work cut out, you know. Normally people don't really care, but what we do? The lobby streamers, yeah. AK-12 first fire. Well, then anyone cares. They make sure the cheaters don't get it? Yeah, they really have to. What does the code do? It gives you a load of in-game stuff. It gives you, like, the knight, armor, and helmet, kitted MDR, weapons case. Yeah, SVT. This is going to be, like, the new hunter, but it's going to be crazy, right? What's oh, AVT-40? Which one's that one? Is that, like, an SKS? AVT-40. God, the music is so loud. Automatic SVT? Oh, I see. That's gonna be nuts. SVT is full auto, that's actually crazy. So this weapon that we right now. The sword MP43? I'll move it temporarily over here. Maybe I'll move you guys up here for a minute. I don't want to think about that. What's the difference about the about these guns? Ooh. 
I would just remodel it. We'll get more codes, definitely. That looks sweet. Yeah, because they're probably some of the first ones that came to the game, you know. Pretty to sidearm is fast and reloading. It is now. It will be after this. We're going to get the sidearm quick swap in the next patch, which is nuts. Okay, perfect. Nice. That was... Uh, the music is so loud. <laughs> the demonstration of new guns. Ah, I forgot about... Very special gun. Very special gun. I forgot about the special sure. thing, Nikita. Where's the special thing? These codes stay a whole day usually, yeah. Oh, we'll PK him. This is either going to be completely unused, or this is going to be OP as hell. <laughs> I can't do anything about the music, guys. The music's on the BSG stream. It's not me. Of course, like, it's a work in progress about the recoil and stuff. It's their music, not mine. Looks very fun for... Factory. It's it's now sound because we don't like have sounds proper sounds for the PKM. We are working on it right now. Wouldn't that be really funny if the first iteration is just Nikita going tack 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 as the sound effect? <laughs> the PKM will be boss weapon. Boss weapon. Yeah, fine. Um, so it'll be like jail now. It's not like everyone's going to be using it, right? Really? Which is good. Get the babka. <laughs> so, new boss on the on Streets of Tarkov. BTR on Streets of Tarkov. Armor customization and rework armor hit boxes with hit registration. And I also have a video for that, and I will show you a little bit later. Oh, okay. Recoil rework. We actually started to rework the recoil, and we have work in progress video to show you. We will show you a little bit later. <sighs> Vaulting. Blind fire, one-handed, two-handed. Weapon bipods and mounting. Achievements. Achievements? That's cool. That's actually kind of cool. Sobala special services with Lightkeeper. So the Lightkeeper will oh. have pretty neat services. And you'll be able to Finally. buy it and use it. They should have done that last stuff. wipe, but okay. Um, the talk of Omicron. Shoulder shooting. My favorite thing. And I'm waiting for it like forever. I really want to have the weapon like shoulder quick switching. Side radical brightness adjustment. Weapons. Level and skill weapon master and rebalance. As always. Fine. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Ah, sorry. I I just tell you. I just tell you about the December patch. All of the stuff will be in December. Oh, that's December. <laughs> August patch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, just tell you the The August patch will contain once again Streets of Tarkov expansion, second iteration, <laughs> new boss Caban, lot out presets. Randomized loot container spawns. Sidearm quick swap. Selecting a body part to heal with a hotkey. Toggling helmet lights. Selling all player scab equipment to fans. Updated trading UI. Quality of light UI updates. New equipment and armor. New we weapons that uh, we just show you. Weapon stand and hideout. Balancing changes to mechanics of armor, damage, and movement. Quest rebalance. Glass trader mechanics. optimization. Light source processing optimization. And uh, there will be a bunch of different technical updates that will be planned in the period of August till December. And somewhere between that will be Unity 2021 update. What do you say about Unity? Auguste? Like somewhere in all of that? Is it like before wipe or not? Mm -hmm. I can't really tell from that. Uh, yeah, August can be meaty. It's like half ah. the stuff from 14. Oh, please. Another video to show you. Yo, Walkin, thanks for the prime, dude. This is a really good This is a really good video. Between August and Dag? Mm. 
Let's have a look at this. So what's this? Armor class 6, armor points 4, because that's busted. That's a brand new one. Oh, they look not, they look different as well, it's kind of cool. So the armor type is on the plate. They actually have the... They've got like the movement speed penalties actually on the plates. Ooh. Neck, right shoulder, chest, right side, stomach, left side. Oh my god, it's complicated now. Oh, it actually works based on the hitbox now. For example, this was the neck. Dude, that's crazy though. Shot shotguns are going to be outrageous unless you can like put Aramid and stuff around elsewhere. Head neck. Yeah, so that's the neck part there. Yeah, so you're going to have to be able to combine stuff together to cover everything. Yeah, so what we got here... Two kilos! I guess, like, the actual plate itself is not going to weigh that much. So move speed, turn speed, which kind of concerns me a little bit still. Does it like have its own armor first and then you've got like plates as well that you can put in? I don't know what this... I, w I wanted to pause it. I might even try to take a screenshot on the... When they hover over here. This is what I wanted to see. Or did they not hover? Yo, Gepta, thank you for the 13, dude. I bet he heard the alert over how loud there. I think it is. I didn't get to see it, but it's fine. I'll look at it later. Many people ask, <laughs> Nikita, why? Why, why, why? Why you keep keep doing the content for the game and not doing anything for the technical aspect of the game? It's not true, because literally... Then I was built in neck arms. Yeah, I think patch patch so. With a lot of technical it's so stuff. cool, having a combo. So, but... Nothing more to add. And of course, there will be more technical additions and changes in the future. I'm not sure about this, but we'll see. And this is the perfect moment to show you the next promo code. Ooh, promo code number two. Here you go. Barmali. What is that? Do you know what that means? Soccer. What is that? What does that even mean? New promo code, guys. First promo code is this one. Очень натуральный сок. Вообще прям максимально. Свежевыжатый сок. Ох ты. Нормально. It's a Russian name. Activated in launcher only. Oh, we actually one of the bear operators. Okay. Russian folktale character. Level 6 plates to the 3M armor? Well, I think module 3M, I don't know whether that's got like, I don't think that's got like slots or anything, right? A, fault, a fountain involved, right? TikTok format. What is this? Uh. Oh, presets. This is kind of bizarre. Hideout Kittinson. Lunch. <laughs> If it does that every time for the preset screen, that'd be funny. That's funny.
Late to the stream. Did I get that right? Patch wipe not until August. Yes, that's true. Wipe in August. What was the first code? The first code was... Давайте еще раз. The first one is... Uh, one click dress up. Дин, ты... Это... Я сейчас полиси твича нарушу такими темпами. Потом будут мне опять эти делать гифки. The second one is Varmalay. Three more to go. Three more to go. Three more codes to go. Чего бы еще рассказать? What is going on? No one knows. What do I do with the code? Go here. Okay. Uh, the next pretty Activate. big thing that I wanna tell Type you it in there. that there is a really high chance, really high chance, that we will participate in the Gamescom this year. So, oh, Gamescom, you okay. will have an ability to visit our booth. Maybe you will have an ability to play Arena. <laughs> and uh, so it's not out before you will Gamescom. Have an ability to ask me and tell me what the fuck is wrong with the game, personally. <laughs> so, feel free. Again, we'll 23rd tell of August, you, 27th of August, so it, Arena isn't we'll until then. It or not really soon, but it's pretty solid that we'll be in the Gamescom, Gamescom in Europe. Gamescom, maybe August, I'll have to go to that or something then. Uh, it will be pretty cool. We will show you yeah, Nikita is a joker. stuff, I guess. Maybe Arena. Of course, Arena. Arena. Yeah, well, at least we know it's not for a month. Nos animator придет, будет развлекать нас. Давай, э, за арену. За победить сильнейший. Такие кубки прикольные. I'm gonna keep uh, putting the codes in the chat. I'm gonna keep Добрый. a log. Сок. Или злой. Ну, судя, судя по антуражу. Although it seems to have messed up a bit. А, это опять ты сделал свой этот коронный мув. Не очень долго. I need to do them as a list, don't I? Понятно. Has to be, has to be like this. Что показать вам? Time to buy tickets to Germany? Exactly. Have they discussed why the cult theme? It's literally just not been mentioned. This looks like a bad drink. Oh, it's um, just a squash. Lemon squash. Lemon squash in a Carlsberg glass is not a beer or anything to call it. Okay, should we go to Cologne for Gabe's time that we constantly Maybe. update it and do a lot of new stuff with the with the help of Battlelight and everything. We changed the networking architecture. It's like the first thing was about the actual heat detection and uh, optimizing the networking. The second big part in it was making the life of cheaters really, really hard to struggle with the, all of the stuff that we added. And uh, we will plan to add more and change more, of course, because we need to do it, as always. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Are you shanked as a cult space event starts after? Maybe. Arena. Okay, let's talk about Arena, I guess. This is the end, What are the codes? Yeah, they give you a lot of in-game stuff. Was it just time? Just time? No, just time is in process. Or you want to have a normal just time? Actually, yeah, if you can, if you can pin, let me see if I can do this. Uh... Okay, guys. Uh... We pinned. We will have the small uh, August is time period. We will upload the video about Arena and I will tell you about the Arena more. So uh, don't go anything else. Please. Please. And... Uh... I will show you the third promo code. Third go promo code, let's go. What you got. What are we going to get here? The third one is... August wipe's pretty big. Soon, soon. soon. soon but with the digits... Zero, zero. Oh, zeros. Okay, zeros. <laughs> Come on, I can't. Okay, guys, five, three minutes just time, and oh, we'll yeah. back. Be back. Replace the pink comment. Cool. Just time, this stock of
Can you light a loadout's exclusive to Arena? Well, loadout presets are coming to the game, if that's what you mean. We'll be back in five minutes, in three minutes, in two minutes. Okay, so they've turned it down. So it's just us and our thoughts for now. So the news so far, um, I guess like we've got the new roadmap. We've got the wipe coming in August and we've got all these things coming. The green stuff is coming in. I'll just make sure there's nothing. Okay, there's nothing else on the screen. So um, this stuff, the green stuff is coming in uh, this next August wipe. All of these ones. It's on the Tarkov like um, Battle State official Twitter, so you can get it from there if you need to. And then all the next stuff is coming the December wipe. This is what they've said they want to do. It looks like Unity is coming between these two, and I guess we know that Arena is probably not coming until after the wipe because they said wipes in August. Gamescom is happening at the end. Gamescom is like twenty third to the twenty seventh, and they said you might be able to play Arena at Gamescom. So that makes us pretty sure that Arena is coming sort of in here at some point. But uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much pretty much it. All right. That's it for now. Yeah, what was this last one? What was the code number three? Servers have gone offline with all the promo coded, but <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> what do you think the new matchmaker is? Like matching with other players? Oh yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah, soon soon with zeros instead of the letter O. It's zeros, not the letter O. That is the third code. Next wipe is just four months. Not even sure what I should think about it. It's just going to be a blitz wipe. Thing is, there's enough. Well, there's some stuff. And they said about, he said Lightkeeper's going to have um, some real stuff, but that's coming in the next one, actually. So there's no point pushing Lightkeeper in the next patch because the Lightkeeper services are coming in the December patch. They've done this in a really awkward way. I wish that they'd like put August here and December here and then like had them after each, because this looks like this is happening now and then a wipe's happening later. It's like kind of misleading. In, in my opinion. I guess it's like they've completed it and then it wipes with these features, I guess is the idea. New location should be right at the bottom. I don't know what these two things even mean. <laughs> uh, I got the, the codes are in the pinned chat. The UI on the graphic is awful. Can you use these codes after the wipe? No, no, no. It'll be like today and that's it. Or might be able to play Arena in late August thing is worrying. I don't think Arena is going to come until September. I don't think that's necessarily worrying. Wipe is August. Four months enough time to work out the kinks for Big Patch. Well, the thing is, this is mostly... What are they actually bringing in? Like, mostly content stuff, I think. I mean, they're, they're coming to the end of the various, like... Um technical parts right because we just have the fps stuff to do they did the networking patch it's a lot better audio is a lot better they still need to work on performance but a lot of the stuff i would say it's coming towards an end they're going to continue to tweak it but like things are a lot better right they need to do unity but they can do that after the wipe i think that's what they said they're going to do Yeah, code three is zeros. It is not the letter O, it is a zero. They are case sensitive. It is zero. What's the codes about? The codes, you activate them in the little menu in your launcher or on the website and you get stuff. You do it here. Activate code. Type it in there. Off you go. What's code one and two, and do they work? Try it. They worked a minute ago. I imagine they probably still do. Codes don't give fan of raid stuff, so I can't give rich. Well, they give you amazing things to use. You can always sell it to the trader. Thing is, though, everybody gets one, so that all of those items will be not very worth on the flea. Plus, I don't think most of that stuff is sellable on the fleet anyway. All right, the first one, like... I guess the weapons case, you potentially could. MDR can't be sold. Neither can the armor. So you're not going to get rich off it anyway. The labs cards, one, they could have been sold on the flea in theory. But yeah, they never are with, 
with the Tarkov TV stuff. Hmm, back for their fan. Actually, we decided that we will play a little. Damirka will play the game. Damirka, you play? Oh, great. Давай, переключаемся на игру. Подожди, я скажу когда. Ладно. The code's all pinned to the chats. On both platforms. I think this is like... You just, just, just look. It's, <laughs> it's the best setup that we had, actually, in the Tarkov TV, Tarkov TV life. So... Мне слов нет просто по-английски сказать это. Очень художественно. Прям очень круто. Как будто я в кино. The codes give you items. They're not fan in raid, no. You have to use the stuff yourself. Or we'll search the trader. Ну что, are you ready? Аэромонах. Аэромонах? Да, я фан. А, аэро? Ага. Воздушный? Yes. Окей. Okay. Сейчас меня тут. Okay. You should be able to use the first code still. Okay, guys, we have uh, two minutes. Uh, you can uh, answer the questions. The questions, simple questions, please. I will try to pinpoint the questions in this, like, madness in the chat, okay? There's no point really even asking, because the chat oh moves so God. fast. When Arena? Really soon, really soon. Just wait for it. I will tell you about the Arena a little bit later today. What was for breakfast? Of course, eggs. Uh, okay, now. Reload during mag check. It's planned, but not for this patch. When wipe? August. <laughs> Simple question. Would you marry me? No. Uh, wish I could speak Russian. It's uh, always an option. You can take courses of Russian. Russian, is, it's, it's, it's a good language. Я не showcase the boss yet. It's complex language. Блин, мне нравится баню вот опять тут сделали, вообще кайф. Просто я вот считаю, что что вот прям я в кино, прям настолько круто. Да. When I K, uh, it's plan I don't know when. Uh, when FPS optimization. Part of it will be in August patch. Part of it will be in the technical patches after the August patch, and big part of it will be in the New Year's New Year's patch. Uh, Good. Can we see the new boss? Not yet, not yet, guys. Кого? Вырубай, да, потому что нас уже супер банят тут вообще дуто. Map to map travel is still planned. Yes, it's planned. Nikita, do you play Tarkov? Yes, I am. I play a lot of it. Arena two. When knock out sex mechanic? Чё? New music in coming. Yes, of course. Any planned tournament for Asia region? We will think about it. Fix audio, of course. Um, when console release? Uh, when full release? I don't know what to say. Favorite map? Streets of Tarkov, of course. More events? Yes. 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 Pum, pum, pum. Colorblind settings. We actually have a lot of stuff prepared for the... Uh, for this uh, thing, like... The, the players with different disabilities will have, like, different options to play a little bit easier. What are you most excited about? The release of the game, actually. We are all struggling and uh, hoping that we'll finally release the EFT and with a beta sign we'll finally go in history. But then what? And it will be really, really good. I'm actually we'll slightly concerned. be so drunk in, mo in this moment, so... Uh, any code yet. We, we still have three, two codes left. Loading mag mechanic. Не помню. Can we see the VSK? We actually have uh, this picture of VSK. 
Didn't we see that already? Hideout cat. Oh, you remember the hideout mm. cat? Any помнят. Yes, it's planned. Oh, the... No, just the cat. I just feel that part of the magic of Tarkov is that the potential is always there if it's in beta, if it's in release, and it means there's nothing else significant to come. I don't know what that means for the game. Radiation, yes, he says. AN94. Most likely, no. We don't, we don't plan to edit because literally it's prototype gun and it's cool, but... I don't know. PMC Karma, planned. MDRC, I don't know, maybe it's planned. Early August wipe. S uh, six peer, yes, it's planned. Unlimited Light Keeper Sex Glitch. <laughs> there are DLCs, I know, but I don't even know what that means, right? О, uh, oh, кстати, люди говорят, что у нас штурман не озвучен. Это правда? Ну так. Yeah. Подожди, точно? The death of the game after release. Штурмана? I don't want to say yes, but. <laughs> Охренеть. We forgot to have a voice lines for штурман boss. We actually need to do it. Thanks for pinpointing that. Kill cam. Kill cam is planned for arena, not for EFT. То есть, EFT не будет? Не будет! Потому что! Ну ладно. Когда будет Open World? Open World уже в Skyrim, so... More ambient sounds. Yes, it's planned. 50 BMG. Yes, it's planned, actually. 50 BMG is planned. What? Свечи-то не сгорели, не упали. Да. I didn't realize that. Give us kill card. Это не бутафория какая-то, но все настоящее. Все настоящее, абсолютно. Ты готов играть? Или еще пока не переключаться? Окей. Я скажу. Hyping restriction. Uzi. AI improvement. Yes. Yes. Uh, snow map. When it's sale. <laughs> Usually it's on the typical dates. Every single year. Email Did you see change. his face Maybe about snow? We'll enable the email change. But I don't know. We'll see. Mm. Wipe Prestige, yes! Wipe Prestige is planned. And with, as well with the all stuff related to the achievements and stuff, we have a pretty good design for the Prestige system in EFT. Amazing. And first of it, like... So the thing is uh, that you will uh, have an option to increase your stash permanently with the help of end game kind of stuff, quests and everything. It's something that will be in prestige system later. Hmm. Kill markers for guns. They will be... Uh... Как их сейчас? Господи, я забываю, пацаны, как они называются. Сейчас, подожди, я переключусь. Как обычно, у нас пасмурная погода. So there will be elite weapon modification parts. This unique weapon mods will have unique bonuses like mastering bonus and everything but also they will contain the information about the owner of that mod so actually we'll have some kind of stat track system well that's really cool EFT with this new elite mods can we can i have one mil rubles actually actually we have promo codes on this stream and the total amount, like equivalent rubble price of these promo codes is something like 18 million rubles. So go ahead, activate them, and we just gave you 18 million rubles. Not yet, but we will give you with the five promo codes on this stream. What was the plan here? Just run and shoot. Kill tally on guns, maybe. It'd be cool, right? Or previous owner or something, it'd be nice. Will it change inertia? Inertia in a pretty stable uh, condition right now. So we don't we don't play to like change it drastically. Maybe something a little we will change something a little. 
Yeah, it's like new content. I go on Steam, this. yes, but something in the release period. 16 player map. Streets of Tarkov will be. Tarkov on PlayStation. On PlayStation 1, it will be perfect. <laughs> Lootable ATM mechanics. <laughs> I saw the video of uh, Tarkin. Like, I don't know. I, I still don't understand how he actually do does this stuff with all of these videos. It's like, it's good, it's good. If you guys haven't seen Tarkin on YouTube, the videos are amazing. More factions, yes. Find closes in raid, no. Show FPS, no. <laughs> There's too many questions, too many messages. 16 on streets? I think yes, it's 16 on streets you. now. And thank you a lot. You, you all been participating, you all been asking questions. You are the great. It's almost 41,000 watching us right now. It's really, really warming to see that all of you are not blaming us for something. You all... Yeah, wipes in August. We just don't know when. And asking different kind of questions. Thank you very much. When we can kill the birds? Why? I love birds, actually. I don't want to kill them. I love birds. Point fire and rework and aim in dead zone. I will show you the video of current state of the recoil rework. And you will see how it's going and uh, maybe we'll add more uh, stuff related to that. Maybe aim in dead zone. I, li I personally like the aim in dead zone. It allows us like to have more realism, like the feel uh within the game so maybe we'll add something when will be contract war stream with kiba perfect question we need to ask kiba to stream it is arena before wipe no может вайп ради вайпа контент зимой нет чувак надо сейчас контент народ хочет контента конечно ну, блин все хотят контента interchange rework with the new lightning yes ты сдох что ли mm -hmm. молодец переключаемся riot shield i think in arena we'll add it somehow but in the game, in the EFT, I don't know, we'll see. New events, yes, there will be new events. White shield for arena only. Shadow flickering. Shadow flickering is related to the unity. So we're constantly trying to fight with the shadow flickering and stuff and any kind of flickering. So usually it's related to the rendering engine of unity. That's big. I was trying to find a fix for that. Reserve. Weapon paint. Weapon paint is planned, actually. I saw the design of it. Show streets. We don't have the new video for streets, but we'll have a trailer before the upload of the nearest patch. Weapon rack system. Uh, I don't have the screenshots, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We'll we'll like show you, I, I guess, later because I don't have any, any material related to the weapon rack and hideout, but it's pretty neat feature. The most important stuff about the weapon rack and hideout, it will add you the free stash space. So you'll be able to transfer mm. your guns to the rack and actually will have the free space. And it, 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 it will be upgradable and uh, it's a good thing. It's like a big weapon uh, crate. That's cool. New outfit, yes. When removal of EOD? It's a good question. The EOD will be removed. Someday. Maybe soon. I don't know. <laughs> Controller support. Nothing to add. Wolves and deer. We're not a hunter's game. Smoke season game. Uh, what about customization uh, pouches and rigs? So. As I said before, a long time ago, we decided to freeze the feature. So the whole system of customization, rigs and pouches on your rig, uh, we decided to freeze it. But we selected the armor hit zones, the armor uh, changing system and armor slots, 
and this will be in the video that you saw just before the armor customization and armor heat zones yeah, you do is supposed to be a special thing skins. it'll be removed before release this is what they've always said you get all the dlcs after release for free clean the face shield and arena ah, finally finally we will change this will be big. this will be big for streamers we will change the sharpening effect of painkillers we will Yay! remove sharpening effect from painkillers pain and we will like change it for the desaturation effect uh, yeah. finally <laughs> Можно за это, даже за это выпить. Хотя мне нравится шарпинг на хер. Просто стримеры мне нравится. Так. So about Arena. Uh, Arena was and being tested by the professionals. As you saw the, the small video that the Virtus Pro, Virtus Pro был? Да. They tested the game. They were happy to test it. And they actually decided to make the, the rooster for it, the teams. And we have a lot of... Uh, new teams, the big one, the big ones, to test it and, to in, and participate in the tournaments. So uh, the arena is being tested by, uh, by us, by the professionals. We're constantly doing different kind of changes in it. And we actually had an in-house closed super secret tournament within our company. And we have a small video just to show you how it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it was Yeah, it was really fun. I participated in the show match and it was really fun. And I, I can, and I can say that and I can say that it's gonna be big. Like the arena gonna be big thing in the whole genre, in the whole cyber sport community. I hope everyone will love it. It's pretty cool. Kenny you're gonna love arena then. Mm -hmm. I'll give you those. See, one point it said the cleanup crew is coming up in the corner. It was like a really short video, just like small, like pinpointing of uh, different kind of things that we had it, and uh, it's playable, of course. It's uh, it's really good to play actually to feel all the mechanics of EFT uh, put together within the fast-paced uh, session-based uh, matches. We are tested and still testing the whole infrastructure of the tournaments so we have a, we will have all of the tools and different kind of stuff to run the tournaments and to share it <laughs> for uh, like promoters and stuff or tournament uh, uh, creators and everything so it will be big just... when soon Actually, it's really close. It's really close. Thank you, Metal Name. As I said before, if we will participate in Gamescom, we will have arena built in there. And uh, dude, I've got to go. It's already playable. It's playable in a really good state. But we want to make it perfect. Yes, Lewis. No aim assist, of course. But with the kill cam. We demonstrate the game to professional esport players in FPS disciplines and collect feedback. One team has already visited, we expect some more in the near future. The message is probably clear to everyone why we do it. In the future, we also plan to organize playtests, collect feedback from the EFT esport player streamers. We are developing both gameplay functionality like kill cam and other architectural things, as well as functionality for arena tournaments, both by BSG and third party organizations. As part of the testing this functionality, we held a tournament for our own developers, as you saw. We have people, we have people in our office who love gaming, who love shooters, and among them, Arena caused a lot of positive emotions. 
we are actively preparing the project for the launch of closed beta, which is definitely coming this year, most likely in the fall. Оказывается, информация это есть. In the fall, uh, you will have an ability to test it, play it, so it will be a test for everyone. Okay. Great. Good. Not behind NDA or anything like that. Wipe it all, gives a troll. No, it's real. They haven't said anything about cheaters, other than they're working on it. What else to add? What else are they going to say, you know? No, I. No, you're not going to remove EAD perks, I don't think. It's just you won't be able to buy it anymore. Why do I get the impression you're... No, I'm, I'm not that tall. Only EAD gets a decimal fall? I don't think so. Did he say that? I don't think he did. Maybe. August White, guys. August White. Fast Danub. Чтобы он был очень fast, но нуб поменьше. Left hand shooting. Eliminate. Right hand peak advantage. Код говорят, хотят уйдет. Давай дадим код. Should do. Да? Или хрен с ним. Дадим код? Давай. The first promo code. Here you go. О. Promo code number four. Трамбон. Трамбон. The first one. This is promo code number four. Ah, show us recoil. I will show you the recoil work in progress a couple of minutes later. Go grab and activate this promo code. You will have in-game items. It's a good items, I promise. Еще нет? Или уже да? Можно. It's not drops, it's codes. So you can activate them all now if you want. You can't buy, you can buy EOD. They're just going to get rid of it at some point. I haven't seen many cheaters either. I've been playing hardcore though, so... Hard to know. How long did Soccer TV last for? Uh, about two hours, I think. This is a tamoznia. Uh, what are they showing here? As you know, or maybe not, or maybe don't, I did a lot of stuff in the customs location. Like, the first initial uh, version of the customs uh, was done by me. Like, I put all of the stuff in there. I not, like, modeled all the stuff. I put all of the stuff, like, tried to make it beautiful. I remember these days and nights when I actually tried to, to, to do it every single time till 3 or 4 a.m. No, you shouldn't lose At the benefits of EOD now. You shouldn't lose the benefits. You just won't be able to buy it anymore once the game's released. It was the idea, that's what they said. You get all the DLCs for free, you get Arena for Buff free. The Mirka is already being buffed by the juice. UD is the most expensive package of EFT, right? It's like the early access developer support package. You get stuff in game as well, but there's like real advantages not having to buy DLCs if they do them. Just like a freebie on future content. Who knows what they'll do with when the AD? Anything's possible. Asking. When is wipe? When is wipe? In August. In August. We have prepared different kind of events for you. One of it will be pretty big. Pretty big. You'll need to complete a quest line. And if you will complete this quest line, you will receive a really special bonus. Hmm. Maybe an inter-white bonus? That'll be the only really big thing, in my opinion. At the moment, they've been like special unlocks from traders for the end of the wipe, like PvP and stuff you can't normally buy. 
But if it's like an давай, Дамилка, давай. between wipes upgrade. Ебашки, парика. Что происходит вообще? Is the quest before or after wipe? I think before. I don't know. Who knows? We don't really know. Actually, I want to I wanna, uh, say uh, a small thing. Big props for those who are playing on the high or ultra quality thing, settings of the visuals. You're the best. If you can play with the high quality settings, of course. But still, you're the best. Even if you don't play the EFT, you're still the best. All of you in this chat, Thank you for uh, sharing your time with us. What does that mean, Squish? You mean on Discord? Привет, тут натекло прям воском, прикольно. It's the rating thing, but this is something else, I believe. Skill rework, yes, it's planned. Actually, I will uh, read some que some more questions. How much RAM for ultra settings? For the streets of Tarkov, you need a lot of RAM, unfortunately, but we are working on it. I don't know what we're watching New to make a day. for EOD players. Not planned, but most likely there will be new secured container in this patch. Is that the Omicron? When is the next event? Soon. Left shoulder fire demon, not yet. This feature will be in December patch. Once again, just look in the posted uh, Какие вот? Родмеп. It's possible. When the next Rigi episode? I will tell you. It's almost done, actually. You Rigi. New closes, yes. Spawn rework, yes. Дамирка, давай тебе пишут в чате. Давай, Дамирка! Давай, живи, Дамирка! The code's all pinned to the chat. Что там пишут? This container, the Omicron container, is supposed to be... Um, it's supposed to be like... Слышно, вижу, что левел соскачет. It's supposed to be like this. Дамирка, нужно тренироваться, тебе говорят. So you can put stuff in like these. This is some like, weird thing. Oh, wait, no, it says three plus three times one plus three by three. Oh, maybe it's like the under Kappa one. Maybe this is the difference to the donut one. This is three, three by three plus three plus one. Вопрос уже такие. Tarkov API, yes, it's planned. Like of course. Just like a bad version of the Kappa, I guess. Sorry, yeah, yeah Kappa. Have they mentioned gun readies? No. Promo code soon soon zeros. It is. No game sound. Ну как так новость? Он есть. Я он вижу, что он прыгает. А, слышь, реально нет звука. Прикинь, нету. Он не идет звук. Game PC по нулям. I believe here we don't have a game sound because uh, there's some some kind of troubles. <laughs> troubles. Anyway, the Milka, the Milka will die in a second, so don't worry. <laughs> Какого хрена звука нет? Вот, вот, иногда у нас получаются идеальные стримы. О, как красиво ты умер в летя. Просто потрясающий прыжки. прыжки. Ух. Ну, все уже не важно. Не важно. Так, окей, okay, I have a last video to show you. Сколько я показал промокодов? 
He said you won't okay, be able to buy EOD forever. This promo code is gonna uh, roll in. Roll in. Pine Pinewood. Nice. Nice and easy. So this was the last promo code for today's podcast. And, and, uh, I have a final video to show you. Uh, as many of you old timers know that uh, the recoil has always been a hot topic in the EFT community. And we, like I said a lot of times that yes, it's been planned to rework. Yes, 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 yes. And right now we actually have something to show you about the rework of the recoil system. As you know, we have this compensation thing, which starts within the two shots and you have compensated. And uh, I personally don't like it because literally it's really hard to have burst fire. It's really hard to maintain uh, like short burst thing, short burst fire uh, with the weapons. And when it's been compensated and, and actually compensated, it's like the recoil is too low and I always didn't like that. So we made some changes. We made some changes and uh, we have a VIP, a VIP work in progress video to show you that we increased the moment when the outer compensation will uh, take action. And uh, we kind of uh, redesigned the whole physics of the recoil. I believe we made it a little bit more realistic and stuff, so we will show you this video. And feel free to discuss it. Like, not here right now, but anyway, you can discuss it in the uh, social media or uh, make some kind of videos of that. Because the opinions will be uh, used for the further improvement of the system. It's basically, speak up or this is going to be no, it forever. No, we will not remove the auto compensation. But we changed it. <clears throat> Here you go. Work in progress, we're still uh, testing different kind of approaches uh, to make it more realistic and more playable. Interesting. It's because they've got single shot recoil jumping randomly around the point, not just up. You see? Sometimes it goes down. It's just a shake. That's very interesting. Again, it's not like uh, this thing will not be in the game like right now or in the closest patch. We are still testing stuff. So uh, just to to show you like the direction where we're going. So again, feel free to discuss it. Feel free to say no or yes. So it's totally okay. It looks like this, I think. Okay. Actually, this. Uh, uh, Oh, we could use jump. Materials jump, that we jump. prepared for you for today. Because now uh, it's more like uh, this. Yeah, it's pretty late. I think. And uh, I will tell you the last things that I'm gonna tell you for today. Um, so first of all, we are developing a calendar calendar of regular EFT tournaments, and we'll publish it soon. Rivals is expected to return soon, so the tournaments will be. Shortly after the patch, you can expect a streamer challenge. 
Uh, its detailed rules will be published with the announcement and uh, streamers of any streaming platform can participate. And uh, there will be tutorials and stuff. Finally, we decided to add more tutorials on our official uh, YouTube and maybe even in the game for those who just started to play the game. So simple tutorials, just understand how to play the game. <coughs> I'm sorry. God bless you. Uh, episode 4 of Chronicles of Rigi and the subsequent event will be released in a few days. In-game events now happen frequently. This way we test various mechanics, some of which remain in the game, some of which go to the next iteration. This is it, guys. So this is it for today. Yes, I read all the book and uh, I became more... Uh, a lot of information for today. I'm sorry that it was it was kind of clanky and but again all of this set all of this uh, perfect uh, uh, next game gra graphics around us is what we actually tried to do. Uh, we whole like almost 200 employees of the Battle State Games just tried to make this room better. They didn't make the game. They just you know make some stuff for this room. Of course, I'm joking. Uh, Thank you for everything that you like was in there in our stream. Let's wait for this upcoming content patch because it will uh, it will be big and uh, see how it will go. Because uh, I'm pretty positive that you will like it and also like the arena and stuff. Like, this year will be big. I'm 100% sure. Thank you. Thank you, Damirka. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I hope you like it. Bipods will be in the game. I just said. Like, I think it's it's December page, Bipods. Enough of the questions. Thank you very much. We will go. Let's raid someone, of course, first of all. И кто-то там кого-то, помню, просил какого-то ноунейма зарейдить лютого. Я не помню, кто и когда. А кто просил? А я сейчас посмотрю телефончик, может, никто ну, это ну, напишет. Ну, 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 ну. Нифига я грязный весь, я от этой книги. Охренеть, я все засрал. Should be able to use the code for a bit. It's never entirely obvious when they go away. Да, да, за 40 рублей арманиваю штаны. Да ёлы-палы. Реально, блин. Ну, постирать дома. Охренеть вообще. Из-за книжки вот этой. Не, Мазу мы не будем рейдить, алло, вы чё? Ну, мы так успешно уже. Ну, все нормально. Ну, все отлично. Сейчас посмотрим. Никто не пишет. Give a check key with the code. А, кого зарейдить, ребят? Кого зарейдить? Кого? Кого зарядить? Кого? Кого зарядить? Hmm? Please tell us. Please tell us. You could just enter the ball in the uh, in the launcher. Ultra lol stream. Мы уже помню рейдили на Новый год его. Не только рейдили. Еще и донаты подали. Был дело, был дело, был дело, был дело. Дундука. А мы Дундука рендили? Рендили когда-нибудь Дундука? Ну, у Дундука тоже все хорошо со зрителями. Можно и Дундука. So, guys, we need some, some, someone who's like only started the, the journey of being the EFT streamer. What do we think then? Азазель ТТВ. Не знаю. Булзай. Это все известно, что? Квадрайс. Ну, конечно, ну... This is what it seemed... Like to me. For the new recoil. So the old system, I mean, I drew this super quickly, right? <laughs> but the old system, basically, when you fire, each bullet goes, you know, like here. Well, the first one, I guess, is on target. Then the next one, then the next one. And the next one, then the auto comp starts to kick in. Okay, let's 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 trade Jesse Kazam. I like this guy. 
And then it starts to come back the other way. And then it's flat in the same place. I mean, it vibrates around this point, right? That's how it used to work. Now, it seems that you have, ignoring the randomness, first three shots or so seem to basically be the same. Then it goes up pretty much in a straight line. Okay. Погнали. Thank you very much, guys, again, once and then again. It Thank you for, for being out. with us for the whole almost 100 So the good thing about minutes. this is and, the uh, comp doesn't kick well, in and pull uh, down, uh, let's right? Let's meet in the next uh, Dark of Yo, simply. Thank you for the prime. <laughs> Are we on Jesse's stream now? <laughs> Welcome, everybody. All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Much love. Much love. Вот так можно... Are you, uh, you still playing Valiant? <laughs> oh, I always do. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty crazy. Um, which way should we go? Should we just go like, go, go like here for now? Let's close this. We could just like go through a few bits about what they said. A big raid for our man, Jesse. Uh, actually, I wonder what the best way to do this is. Um, hmm, hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I actually probably want to keep it up. I should have, I should have actually kept the stream up. Let me go back on Twitch uh, and go back to BSG because then we can go to different parts of the stream. Let's see, Battle State, Battle State games. Where are we? Here we are. I've got the, the code, so let's see, there we go. Yeah, fine. So then we can, now we can just jump around. Okay, 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 cool. This is good. Uh, yeah. YouTube and maybe even in the game. Let's full screen this guy. Okay, so what were we talking about? We were just talking about the old, the recall system. Here we go. This is the new Tarkov streamer. He's the wholesome man, eh? Shock our little talk of mantling. It's because it's coming on the next one, right? Coming on at the next one. We do love the pizza man. Thank you, Simply. Yes, all the codes are in the pinned comments. I think they probably are still working, I would guess. I would guess they're still working. I would hope. Um, so, okay, so what do we know? So we know there's a wipe in August. Let's get the roadmap up as well. I've got the roadmap up somewhere. <laughs> I've got too many windows. I like opened up a billion windows. While we were watching everything. Where's, where's the roadmap gone? I've like managed to lose the roadmap now as well. There we go. Find the roadmap. Uh, here we go. Roadmap 2. Okay. So we've got to wait until August. We don't know exactly when in August. We know that Gamescom is on the 23rd to the 27th. So Arena is coming after that at some point. I don't know what this means in terms of i wonder if i can just like oh whatever it doesn't really matter so presumably i mean presumably though maybe it's maybe it'll be early august i don't know 19th of july now two weeks time will be the second so it's probably it's probably it's either going to be like at the right at the end after gamescom after they've shown that or it'll be early with like a couple of weeks so they can get ahead of themselves Something along those lines, I would guess. Prestige is one of the biggest announcements. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so all of the green stuff is coming very soon. Loadout presets, which is going to be great. Randomized loot container spawns, which I don't think anyone really, you know, it's, it's fine, but normally is bothered. This is nice quality of life. Helmet lights is quality of life. Quality of life. Sidearm quick swap actually could be a big deal. If this is faster than reloading, you might see people bringing in pistols. Much more frequently than you do now. It looks like it's going to be really, really quick. So that could kind of be the alternative to having a 60 rounder or something. You could actually bring in a pistol, something good, like a 5.7, a shrimp. Um, what else? USP or whatever. That'd be pretty good. The trading UI looks, looks crazy. <laughs> that does actually look crazy. The And then what else did he actually show? He didn't show the weapons stand. Uh, and then he basically said that like unity is coming between between here and here. We do naughty drawings on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So 
where did I put the actual cast? So we saw the recall rework at, at uh, where was that? It was here. Let's take it. Let's take it again. Don't need to have it as loud as we did. Actually, I did turn it down. So yeah. So this is an M4. I don't know what kind of M4 it is. Presumably. It is loud. It's a kind of a shame that they picked a loud M4 in some ways. It's like it's weird. It almost looks a bit weird at the moment. I know this is a work in progress, but it almost looks like it's not hitting the where the reticle's aiming. Do you see? Do you see where the like the sparks? So like, I I can't go back like two seconds. I can't go back just like for a second on this. It's just there's something off about. It looks okay afterwards. So burst is still going to be kind of useless if it's like this, right? I thought it was more like a couple of shots and then it's okay. Maybe not if it's on totally on full auto. So this is them um, doing a full. Spray. Maybe maybe it isn't like that then. Maybe it isn't like my drawing. Maybe my drawing is slightly misleading. Maybe it's more like... It's basically this, but with the front cut off. Which would be bad. <laughs> It'd be this. I guess it's no worse than this. <laughs> it's not worse, but it's not really better. The single shot I am kind of okay with. I think that is cool. See, but the burst, why is the burst like that? I, f I feel what they should do is put... Well, they've switched away too quickly, though. I feel that they should put these three shots quite close together. So it should be like bang, 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 and then it should widen out, and then it should level off again. Maybe something like that. Maybe they reworked how barrels functioned. See, this, I'm okay. I'm okay with the single shotting. Holoscope is a tad tall. Might have a bore issue, maybe. Could be. Pretty close to realistic. I guess it's all right. Single fire is terrible. Why do you think the single fire is really bad, though? It's because they've got... I mean, this gun has got too much recoil. Like, we don't know what gun this is. This will get smaller as you increase your recoil uh, um, profile, presumably, right? This is going to be a close to stock M4, I would imagine. Do we actually get to see what, what it is? Let me, let's, let's see if we can see what gun it actually is. Oh, no, it's an AK. It's not M4. It's an AK. For some description. But it's like no, it's, there's no foregrip or anything. It's just um, I don't think that's the bastion rail either. Maybe it's got PWS on the front. Kind of weird. I missed most of this. Anyway, we can see the roadmap. Yeah, you can go on just the actual their Twitter page. Um, the roadmap is also here. We're already looking at it. So they're split basically they're splitting it into two parts. August content and December content. So that patch 14 that we saw of the original one, this is now being split into two different pieces, which I think is very sensible, actually. Jumps randomly in all directions after every shot. Yeah, seems to. But this is at stock, remember? Like, an M4 that's modded won't be like this. Look at the voodoo. We'll get there. Where did they show the voodoo? Was it after this or before? Charging handle was rear on the first gun. It's weird because, like, I thought, like, this what these two are close together. Maybe that's just random. I think this is what I was looking at originally, and I was like, oh, these two are close together, and then it widens out. But I think you can see there's just a different. It just depends on each spray. That's just the randomization coming into each one. It settles in weird horizontal positions. It does. 
Imagine you want a single tap at a target distance. It's so bad. Well, it will be with a with a stock gun, yeah. But it'll. I kind of like. I don't mind it shaking around the existing position. Yeah. The the shadow the scope shadowing is like really nasty on that, which is obviously not ideal. It's probably just because they've like just quickly mocked it up to make this system. They haven't perfected it or anything to make it look good. I hope. <laughs> you can see that they still like they still need to fix. Well, I guess like some wibble is okay. Be interesting to see what it looks like with other scopes. Be just super small. Yeah, it is. It's almost they've got it in like the regular FOV mode rather than the. Are they using the FOV bug? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Did they mention whip? Not really. The lack of order compensation leads to the end of the spray to hang around way above the middle of the screen. Just feels a bit weird to look at. That's like a camera recoil thing, though. That's because camera recoil is super low compared to the gun. This also doesn't look like normal either. I think this is just a really basic test, guys, because like this, the gun sits right in the center of the screen too. I don't think this is the case. You know, if you, if you're ADSing, no, does it normally look like this? Maybe it does. I'm like second guessing myself now. I can't even think about what that looks like normally. <laughs> What's it look like normally when you're like ads <laughs> This is from my stream. So it kind of does look like that. I guess it's I guess it's tilted to the side a little. That was like a stream one. Yeah, kind of. It, it does look kind of the same as that. Maybe. This is like much more. This is very very central though. I wouldn't take anything out of this. This is like, this is a super, super test version. We can, and also this thing, this is our opportunity, right? We can put together feedback of what we actually think will be good. And the community can tell, the community can tell them. That's the idea. Video doesn't tell much. Yeah, you need to shoot it and feel. I agree. Did they do like single shots? They did. I want to know whether it resettles. Like, if you shoot one bullet, does it just does it resettle even if it goes down? You know what I mean? Like, if it, if he shoots, does it? And even if it goes like, just like vibrates, does it go down or anything? Does it come back? They need to move the scope on the rail because they are really horrible. Yeah, they need to fix the eye relief for sure. I think the scope's making it look weird. I think this scope one, there's other stuff at play on the scope, so I'd rather not look at that one. I think it's better off looking at this one, because this is easier to implement, right? What do we think about this? It looks like it doesn't resettle now. So, like, when it jumps, it stays there. Is that good or not? Do we want to have to readjust every time we single shot? I don't know the answer whether we do or not. Would tap firing reset the recoil pattern? I don't know. I don't know how that system interacts. Maybe there's like the first... I guess if you're full ordering then it doesn't really matter where the first shot resettles or not. Because it's funny, right? Like, I, don't, I guess that they're not compensating at all for it you see when they fire the gun does end up in a different place to where it started like now right so he fight he shoots here here ish when he lets go the reticle's in a different spot that one was pretty close and that one's like way higher i don't think that's necessarily bad I don't think they can remove eye relief. I think 
I believe comes as a side effect of the way that they've implemented the system. So it is more like this. The thing is, in the, so in the old recall, you had to basically just mirror this, right? You had to, if to get rid of the recall position right now, you have to do this, pull down and this. N now you'll have to just pull down and then that's it. This bit doesn't exist, we've determined. It's only for single shot. Single shot just bounces randomly around. Theoretically, there's more skill with the system. Why do you say so? I'm not sure if that's necessarily true. It's just a different pattern. We did have to do this. Now we have to do this. In, in some ways, there's less skill. Because before you had to push, you had to pull down with the mouse and then push it back up again to counter this thing. Now you don't need to do that anymore. So the recall is technically easier to manage, in my opinion. Not resettling makes bursts more viable as you can't wait for the settle, so you may as well burst. Maybe. Are they ruining the gunplay? They're trying to change it to make people happy. <laughs> I'd like to see it with a meta gun. It's a bit weird with a stock AK, you know? Looking forward to the recap video. I don't really know what I'm thinking about, you know? Hmm. If they can give lower horizontal recoil with the initial burst and higher horizontal after the burst, I'm okay. Yeah, the wipe's in August. I do early shots show less recoil. I, yeah, so I think it should be as I said, right? I think it should go, you know, here's zero. It should go like this, maybe, or like bounce around for the first couple, then increase like this, and then level off. Something like that. So that if you're, if you're burst firing, you just like fire in the same place. Maybe give a tiny bit of compensation. And when you're full autoing, you have to pull down to a point and then it levels out. That's kind of what I wanted. It seems like they've basically done this, except they've just chopped the front off. But I don't really know. Hmm. It's done already. Yeah, it's done. They, they finished it already. You suggest a more gradual curve? I think so, because otherwise, at the, like, when you see the burst fire on this, it just looks a bit like, why would you do, why would you do that, right? You're still not going to want to burst, although I guess, like, I guess the only thing is you might say, well, if you burst fire, you know the pattern is going to be like this, so you can go, you can pull that, but that's going to be, it's really awkward pulling down on bursts, not full auto, because you've only got two shots to compensate for. Shot number one, it goes where the crosshair is. And then shots two and three, you have to pull down for. It's like it's re it's a really awkward thing to do at like eight hundred RPM. That's not easy actually. So now it's like full auto is easier because you don't have to push down anymore. I think this makes I I think this makes full auto meta actually more strong than it is already. Single shot now bounces all over the shop. Burst fire is technically better but then it's actually not because practically speaking it's going to be harder to compensate for those just these two bullets and then full auto is very predictable up to the top and then it just stops and then you get a laser beam i don't really like this hmm don't talk if you pull down with the first shot slightly before the first shot basically yeah Hmm. Yeah, because right now it's, as I said before, right now it's like this. So you fire the first shot, or like with the first shot, you start pulling down. You, so you start pulling down here, you pull down for shots one, or well, for shots two, three, maybe four, it kind of depends. Then it starts to level out. Then you have to push your mouse back up again. And then it levels out completely. And it goes to about half the distance. So if you moved your mouse there to this, like this, to get all the way, sorry, to get to all the way to the bottom, you then have to bring it back up by about half. 
to get back into the resettle position. And that will make it so that, you know, shot, shot one goes on target, you move your mouse down, shot two, shot three, shot four, then you start moving your mouse back up again, shot five, shot six, shot seven, and then it's, then it's just the same, no matter what. By burst, you mean MP5 or, man or manually controlling? I mean manually controlling bursts. If you just go like, ba-bang, ba-bang. Maybe a two-shot burst is good. A two-shot burst might be okay now. Maybe. Not a range, though. You're still probably going to single shot, I guess. I'm fine with nerfing full auto. I don't think that's what they're doing, though. <laughs> I think the lack of horizontal recall and consistent vertical initially makes bursts better as you compensate yourself in practice. The, my point is, though, it's very hard to time the pull-down for just two shots. You get leeway on full auto because you see where they go and then you can compensate. But for just two bullets, especially on guns where the burst mode is kind of high, like, well, I was going to say vector, but like a stock MP5, you just, I just don't think it's going to be easy to control it. They said anything about optimization? They did. They did. Um, they talked about it here. So they've got, they've got some stuff coming with this patch. Grass shader. Light source processing. Um, light performance optimization is in progress. Then they've got Unity. Then they've got more of this, more, um, and then more stuff after this. Still doesn't seem like it rotates at the stock, which is the complaint that started this rework. I think that's going to have to be one of the main things that we ask about. I mean, it do does it look better? I'm not sure. It almost seems like the gun light comes forwards a bit. See, because here, there, you can see it twists. It still twists too much. It's hard to see here, but it still twists too much because you can you can see that it twists because of the the eye relief on the scope. Right, it starts off centered. When they fire one bullet, it just goes randomly somewhere, which is fine. When they go full auto, you can see that because of the what you can see through here moves down. That's because the whole weapon itself is now tilted. This is what Spectator Six was talking about all those all that time ago. Because of this tilt here, you can only see through the bottom section because the top part is like blacked out. Gunplay is completely random. You have less control before. No, that's not. That's not true. That's 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 definitely not true. I think it's easier. Honestly, I think it's easier. This this diagram is now getting a bit of a mess. <laughs> but. You know, pre previously, as we as I was saying, from a zero position, oh, that's pretty crap. People just use a line. From a zero position, it used to go up like this, and then oops, up like this, and then down. Oh my god! Like that. And now it seems to go. Well, kind of the same, but it then does this. Instead, there is no down section. This also might depend on the gun. So we've only seen one gun. And then single shot is different. Single shot, you know, you start aiming at a point, And then when you fire, it ends up, say, here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Burst looks like it's going to be, you know, one, two, three in a line vertically. I think. Did we had burst at the start, I think. Where did they do burst? Did they do burst right at the start? I think it was the right at the beginning. Let's just let's just look at that one. But we change it. Still think it won't change forward too much. I agree. Yeah, so this is the bouncing in single. Yeah, so burst burst is just like we said. Burst just goes up in a line. And then full auto, it just like, it just seems way too much of a, it's, it's one, two, three, four, five, and then there's no more recoil. <laughs> Why make single shot more worse? Oh, much, much more worse. I guess it's, yeah, it's harder to, con if it doesn't fall back to the same position, then single shot is kind of worse. Although there is just less recoil in general. Like, single fire does have way less recoil than it did. Because think about how much recoil is there in between each of these shots. 
There's a decent amount. It's hard to tell. Without being able to test it myself, it's very difficult to tell. How do you feel about an arm stamina recall system? Recall is high one on low on stamina and short stream recall. Hard to balance that though, because if people are full on arm stamina, then it's the game's just like laser beamy. And especially once people have max skills, they have like full arm stamina all the time. It's hard to balance. Maybe, but it's hard. So look, look how low, look how little the recall is sometimes. It depends. It seems to depend whether you get the random bounce or not. That's the problem. <laughs> Some of them are not very nice. I don't know. Shots draining arm stamina for finding death 60 rounder. That's not, yeah, maybe. That might work. Okay, what what else was interesting? Was there anything else that he showed? What else did he show that we should go over? This is all without trying to compensate for recall. It sure looks like it. Oh yeah, so there was the arena show match. What was this? Was it this one? The Twitch previews are rubbish. They don't actually tell you where what's coming. Arena show match is kind of cool. Can you explain the rating system and permanent stash size increase? I'll have a look at that in a sec. I want to see Nikita playing. Is that Nikita playing here? <laughs> I mean, it just, it looks very similar to the main game. I wonder if we can tell people using OPS. There was one part which said, uh, yeah, the cleanup crew, the time is out, the cleanup crew is coming because they didn't manage to finish, <laughs> which is kind of what it is like from Rigi. It does look really cool having the, like, free cam. I, it's going to be interesting to see if the mechanics are any different. Whether inertia is any different or not. Very hard to tell just from seeing it. Don't really know. Yeah, so there's the there's a new website that's appeared. Which is this one. Okay, from Tarkov forward slash rating. Um, it says pre-wipe... 50, this is a, like a, a leak almost. It says plan to start in like six minutes or something. And there's a bunch of different things that you can get this for. If you are like first for these elements, it seems like you may get a permanent stash increase. I wouldn't worry about it. Most people are just, it's, this is going to be for like three people in the world. I really wouldn't worry about this. But if you're top in the world, or maybe, uh, maybe they'll make it bigger. Maybe they'll make it top 100. Because that's what it says here. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that means a thousand people in the whole world will get a stash, permanent stash boost based on this. I wouldn't worry about it for the most people. <laughs> yeah. Nice reward whilst not being game breaking. Sounds reasonable. Maybe. Spamming extracts for raids counts. I guess what they're doing for the next 42 days. Yeah, number of raids. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, people will set this up, I guess. I don't know. So that was that. Um, what else? PKM. Yeah. Sidearm quick swap. Oh, that's the other good. Oh, yeah, and the, and the new UI. When did the new UI come? That was like... They did roadmap. They did roadmap first. Then they did helmet flashlights. Limb healing. Which, this was cool. This is neat. You can use the splint. I guess you like hold the button, I suppose, and then you can decide which limb to heal. It was better on the heal itself, actually. 
This one. Like Salewa, you can decide what to fix. Hold the button, scroll to Thorax, off it goes. I think you could do this with, um, you could probably do this with a hotkey. It said, it said you could on the other thing, you could do it with a hotkey. I'm not sure, it doesn't show this in, in game, maybe this is what they mean. I'm not really sure. And then, I guess, yeah, the, yeah, the other thing was the trading UI thing. Consumables double click, double click on them to use a splint, and nice. Yeah. So that'll feature for scav runs, that's pretty neat. Where was the... Oh, it was actually, yeah. Where was the... I'm just trying to find the UI one. That was after crafting status. We just find that. Here we go. I think this could be game changing. They didn't show the new boss, no. So, uh, if you, uh, like, I, I, it's... Look at that, that's a massive difference. That's definitely faster than reloading. And then where was the armor plates? I think that's the only other thing that I wanted to see. Oh no, sorry, there was trading UI first. This one. It's a lot less clicks. Okay, and then... The other one was the armor hitboxes. That was the last bit. Oh, this is all the guns. This thing's looking mad, by the way. AVT40 looks crazy. <laughs> EKM. Yeah, the new UI is in the in the August. It's uh, here. In green. So that's coming in the summer update, which is this one. Yeah. I think this is the last one. So... Hmm... I don't know whether these come with the the kit now, and then you have extra plates. So once these are damaged, maybe they're damaged forever. So it says like soft and hard armors. Let's have a look. I just want to take a second look at this. Here we go. Yeah, so it looks like this stuff all comes with the rig. So you you buy the carrier as is with these various things. So it's got back, chest, left, right, neck, stomach, left shoulder, and right shoulder already. So you do actually get chest. Oh, well, basically all these things already as part of the armor, and this is at class three. And then you can apply plates to left, right, front, back, I think, on this particular one, on the floor. Is a plate carry thing in the summer update? I think so. Let's see, is it? Where is it? Hmm.
Oh no, it's in that's in the December one. That's the winter update, armor customization. And reworked hit boxes. With hit registration. This is not yet. So you're safe in your slick for the next wipe. But after that. You're gonna have to do this. You see there's nothing in this one. They've only got it in front, back, and like right side, I guess. That makes it like 315. So armors are now really they've just well this durability number doesn't mean anything anymore because it depends on each individual piece, right? This 315 is now the same as this 440 on your PMC. Like this doesn't necessarily tell you whether you're gonna die or not. This just tells you your overall health. Same thing with this. I guess this is this is like if this goes to zero you die, whereas if this goes to zero, again it just means that the whole armor's dead. How much room with with plate do plates take up? It looks like this, right? Two by two for a big plate. Was a side plate smaller? I think it was a smaller one. Yeah. So you shoot the thorax and nothing happens. You shoot through the side of the slick. And then this is going to kill to the neck here because the slick doesn't come with any like padding. So all of these carriers that are just like the carrier and they protect thorax only and they're really tiny, these are all going to be, the whole meta is going to switch around completely, I think. Yeah, so that one hit, they shotgunned somebody wearing the Zabralo and then that one hit the neck piece. So that comes as part of the Zabralo. That's, I wonder whether you can, I guess you could repair that on the armor like you can normally, I suppose, because that's got chest back, right, left, neck, stomach, right shoulder, left shoulder, and then you can do front, back, left, right, plates. I wonder if you could still clip under somebody's arm though. It sounds like you probably can. You just like shotgun into somebody's arm here and they've got their gun raised. There's going to be some quirk to this where you're just going to aim at people's armpits or something. Side <laughs> plate was one slot. Okay. Can you repair the plates? I would have thought so. Armor change is coming in December. Neck meta and armpit meta. Yeah. There you go. Well, I think that's it. I think that's it. Mm hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. What did we expect that was not there? It's a good question. Let's just quickly have a look at that before we go. I don't think there's anything off the top of my head. Oops. Sorry, wrong one. This is the original one. Streets, BTR, new boss, vaulting. Vaulting is coming in December, not in the next one. Armor plate rework, kit presets, weapon animations when interacting with cover. Is that on here? Yeah, bipods and mounting. Yeah. Left shoulder shooting, hideout expansion. I'm not sure if it says that here, but he did say that in the cast. He's, he said it. I don't think it necessarily is on here, but he said it. Randomized loot containers. Yes. Re recall rework. Pistol transition. Suppressor durability. We didn't see anything about that, actually. I don't think, anyway. 
Yeah, BTR, like the APC kind of thing. Infantry fighting vehicle on the streets. Good to see Lightkeeper services. That was, we didn't expect that, and that is on there. So suppressor durability, not sure about that. Ammunition loading interface. Is that on here? I think that just meant like loading in RAID, but... Oh, preset magazine ammo loading. Sorry, it's not in RAID. It's um, preset magazine ammo loading. That's up there. Good. Type brightness, yes. User interface, yes. Press rebalance, yes. Because that's coming in here. Bipods, yes. Body part, yes. Helmet flashlight, yes. Double click, yes. Random guns, yes, yes. So it's basically just suppressor durability, I think, that's missing. That's the only thing that I can't see on there. Or, or Nikita didn't mention it as well in the thing. So, yeah. Do you reckon when they say EOD is going away, it means Gamma's going away? I don't think so. I just think it means you won't be able to buy EOD anymore. You'll just be stuck without EOD. Like, you won't be able to pay for EAD if you come to the game late. You'll be stuck with the regular container. Maybe you'll still be able to buy something like that later. What do you say about being able to unlock two rows in the hideout? That was from... That was from coming, like, top 100 in the world for something like... In, in one of these categories in this next season or whatever. It's going to be a very rare thing that people do. 42 days rating page. What would 42 days relate to? Did somebody work that out? What would 42 days mean in like real terms? Wouldn't that be like right at the end of August? Best changes are coming. They did not talk about them. Clean asked and got a confirm back. Interesting. Interesting. Is there anyone in the wipe? No. The shorter line, I don't really know. I guess the short line means it's coming sooner, but I have no idea. Like, what are these two? We don't really know. Cool. Right, guys. Well, maybe I'll put together a recap. I'm not sure. Like, everyone's going to put together a recap, so I don't know. We'll see. But um, I have to go for now. But it's been uh, a pleasure. It's been a blast. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by on the stream. And uh, I hope that you all have a, a wonderful wonderful evening um what day is it today it's wednesday so i'll be back on tomorrow so anybody who's around tomorrow uk afternoon i'll be back playing more hardcore so until then i will see you all soon and i guess we, we should given that given yeah we should go and do a uh, a quick raid on whoever's like around and let's go and see let's go and see friendly guy i mean just while we hop off Cool, friends. Well, exciting stuff. Lots of things to think about. <laughs> Initially sets 26 days, then they change to 42. August the 30th. That would be really, really useful for me. I'm not, not going to lie. That would be really useful. Let's hope we get more performance soon. I agree. Cool. Bye. See you later, everyone. Have for now.